you had the chance to meet uh, President Trump in Vietnam. Yes. How did that meeting go and what did you talk about? Well, uh, I shook his hand. Uh, uh, and uh, before the closing, kept on saying bye-bye. I said, I'll be there. And he said something about, you know, you handle it very well. Magyabang pa ako, ayaw ko nang ano. I, I, want, I do not want to, those are the things that you do not brag about. The Marawi and the, the drugs, words of encouragement. Uh, not extrajudicial killing. Well, he cannot afford it. Uh, we do not talk about these things because, first of all, they are, not, they are not true, and the second is we do not do it. And I said, you have to find a soldier or a policeman anywhere in the country. Why I ordered the killing of a man on bended knees? in surrender or lying down. If at all, criminal liability is personal. That's the rule. When you commit a crime and there is no conspiracy, it is, you. It is not transferred to anybody else. Now, by saying that I will destroy you, I will kill you, that is not a conspiracy. That is the rage in my heart for treating the Filipinos like a shit. Yes. So you didn't discuss EJK's with Donald Trump, but you meet him again this week. Uh, I'm sure days. he will not take it up. Will you, will you discuss it with him in the coming days? But he's, not, he's not the Human Rights Commission. So it's only the representatives there. Because the U.S., like the Philippines, is run by three great uh, departments. But, I said, uh, the politicians there seems to be in parity with the president. And that is why when they disallowed by resolution, I think, which did not materialize, questioning the sale of uh, military rifles for the police, and we received a rebuke. I went to China and Russia. Where will where, where, where would I go for quality of work? Where, where, where uh, start to manufacture, but not in large uh, numbers. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. J.P. Soriano, Mr. President, is from GMA7. Sir President, good evening, and congratulations from a productive trip. Sir, may, may just briefly shift, uh, briefly go back to the topic of a uh, code of conduct. Sir, the ASEAN has long held the position that uh, the code of conduct must be legally binding, uh, but China opposes it. Is this something to have the code of conduct legally binding? Is this something that you would convey to Premier Lee when it comes to Manila for that? We we'll never talk about sovereignty. Mm. We talk of who's holding the the canons there, and was uh, the might to enforce it. You know, if it uh, comes to uh, the fundamentals, if it's just a matter of uh, talking hard and making threats, the United States did it for so many years now. As a matter of fact, the, the, the Seventh Fleet has two aircraft carriers there. Not to mention the submarines prowling around the town of uh, the Korean Peninsula. I said uh, nobody wants to talk it, to talk about it, because it is not the time. It is not the time, right. and you can only resolve it through dialogue mm -hmm. and uh, mutual consideration. Right. At this time, when everybody has in his pocket a large number of nuclear arms, China, America, Russia, Iran, North Korea, it is not a good time to talk about quarrel. Sir, the ASEAN and U.S. Chair, ASEAN Chair, uh, are expected to sign in the, in the next few days the ASEAN consensus on the promotion and protection of the rights of the migrant workers. It's considered as the centerpiece of your chairmanship. No, one of the even the trafficking, yeah. the more serious one is the trafficking of uh, human beings, especially. Oh, and we're doing it here. 
there are provinces and cities who buy kidnap uh, children and women, young men, and they are sold to slavery. It is existing here. And that was my warning about a month ago. But this time I will not tolerate uh, that kind of uh, situation where you kidnap people, uh, babies, young, and they grow up really thinking that they are really slaves. Hindi po ito yung ganun. Hindi ko matanggap yan. Kagaya ng droga, hindi ko talaga matanggap yan. So I'm just warning. Alam ko yung nakikinig sa akin, alam nila sila ang gusto kong upakan. Pero hindi ko matanggap yung mag-kidnap ka ng isang tao tapos maglaki siya, akala niya. And he he would have lost his uh, universal identity. Hindi niya kalain, anak pala siya ng ano, tapos oh, bata pa na kidnap. Pagka ganun, I, I, I am ready to send uh, again the force of might of government. I will not allow it. Thank you, sir. That's the most cruel joke going sa kapwa mo tao. Hindi ko kayang tanggapin yan. Just like drugs. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mr. President, our last question is from Hi. Ayi Makaraig of the Johns Franz Press. Good morning, Mayor, and welcome back. My question is, um, President Trump has declared the U.S. opioid crisis a national public health emergency. How big of a problem is opioid addiction here in the Philippines? And do you see areas of cooperation with President Trump in fighting the common problem of illegal drug addiction? Thank you. I will not give you a specific answer out of uh, respect. I have my own problem, and he would just say to me, take care of your problem. Uh, there's a lot of mess around there in your country, so why mess up with me? And uh, as I said, as a sovereign, only if he asks me, informally. Sabi niya, paano mo ginawa yan? Well, of course, stricter rules and uh, hard enforcement. Kasi dapat malaman niya to use the precursor ng mga drugs. There, I, I, I promise to give you one. I hope that it was already given to you. Of all the description, including the World Health Organization, yung iba, it's, uh, there's uh, an aberration in the mind. But ang shabu lang, because among others, itong poppy, cocaine, hash, yung lahat, are really grown from the opium plant. Itong shabu is a chemical mix. That is why, Ngayon, alam na nila kung bakit dumalaban. Now, all you have to do is to read the... Okay, ano? It's a publication by the United Nations. And uh, nakakatawa dito because uh, risks. Itong dito lang sa ecstasy, ganon ng... But the harshest heroin, ganon, eh, it alters the mind. But itong methamphetamine, shabu, sabi ng United Nations na, uh, shabu use sometimes the aggressive, violent, and bizarre behavior. Kaya mo kita mo, pag pinapatay niya ang asawa niya, sisigaw siya, pinatay ko na si Duterte. Or he cuts off the heads of uh, the other members of the family. Comes up with the, uh, I don't know what's the, sa, sa, sa anong cover nito. There's a cover here. It's the International Narcotics Control Board. I, INCB precursors and chemicals frequently used in the illicit manufacture of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances publication United Nations uh, delicious <laughs>